Really good work day. Uh, I thought we had good energy. Uh, you know, I thought guys came out in physical nature. You know, really trying to push and develop the, uh, the toughness, the physicality. Uh, you know, it really throughout the course of practice, you saw both sides. You know, have really bright moments. We introduced some red zone work. Uh, you got some two point plays. Um, you know, continuing to, to push on the the insulation and you know, just uh, different elements of, of uh, you know, concepts and schemes. And I think our guys are picking it up well. I'm definitely proud of them for the work they're putting in. Uh, you know, away from uh, you know, away from our meetings and on, on their own time. But I thought the offense had some, some really bright moments, some big runs, some explosive plays. Uh, and then I thought the defense, you know, you know, towards the back part of practice, you know, really responded well. And uh, you know, saw guys flying around, communicating. Uh, it was all things that, that that's you know important for us to uh, to continue to grow in. But we we got four practices in. I think we've. Done a lot of great things. Uh, I really like the competition. I like the uh, playmaking ability that's showing up. Uh, I've talked about the speed and, and uh, you know, just overall you know, strength and physicality. I mean, it's, I like I like the direction this team's heading in. You know, obviously we got a ton of work and we got to clean up a lot of the a lot of the little things uh, to be more efficient and effective in, in what we're doing. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of where we are. Uh, yeah, well, uh, so you know, the other day, Chris, you know kindly uh, cut me off before I was finished my statement, so I wasn't going to give a personnel update, but uh, Rob Scott will be out uh, throughout this spring. Um, we also will have Josh Farmer will be out throughout this spring, both those guys fully expecting to be ready to go uh, summer workouts uh, and, and all that, and then uh, fortunately, uh, well, Jamari Howard is going to be out the rest of the spring, and you know, it will, it, that injury will take him into this next season. We'll kind of see what uh, where that goes on availability. Uh, you know, really was having a good first first couple of days, but unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, went down, and uh, you know, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to we'll see see the progress in, in that in that rehabilitation coming back. But uh, I just wanted to give you those on guys that uh, will, will be out for the for the re uh, remainder of spring, and uh, we'll kind of see where that goes. Questions? What do you want to get from Thursday's scrimmage? Um, you know, I just want to see guys go out there and play. I mean, it's it's really uh, the communication element of it. You know, guys you know, on the field, you know, the different groups. We're going to mix a lot of different personnel. You know, so, you know, I don't expect a ton, a ton of uh, you know cohesiveness. Uh, you know, just with the the, the different you know, personnel groupings that are going to be going. But that's a that's a part of it. Who can go out there and do their job? Uh, make sure that they're uh, that they are communicating to the best of their ability, and getting aligned. Taking a great first step and then you know, going out and executing, making plays when you get the opportunity. But uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a good work day. It's it's actually you know usually it's about a day earlier and you know than, than I normally go with the with the scrimmage. Uh, I think it just fit with the calendar of how it is and, and I wanted to I want to see these guys go play. But uh, I'm really I am pleased with uh, with the work they put in and kind of where we are in four days. This being the, the first scrimmage using the, the headsets, I guess, how do those change things? And I guess, what what's, what's the feedback then for practices of working with those? It's been good. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know I, I think that'll be another element. We're trying to trying to implement that as much as possible throughout the course of practice. Um, we'll see, you know, what communication is good, what's too much, too little, uh, you know, different ways that, you know, how much we want to use it. You know, there'll be times we, we might not. And so, um, you know, we'll kind of just go from there and uh, you know, continue to, to, to try and, and uh, Utilize and focus on different things within that communication, and you know, we have we have the rest of spring to kind of play with it, and then obviously fall camp will really kind of hone down on, on how we want to utilize it. The college colleges haven't used it before, but the pros have. Can you gain anything by talking to the pro coaches? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we talked to we talked to pro. Yeah, the, one of the things is guys that have been pros, college, back to pros. You know, just that they the guys that have a, a pretty good sense of both. Um, you know. We're having plenty of conversations. Does older guys around and Josh the fact that they play so much football? No, I mean I'm I'm definitely excited to, about what this year is going to be for them. They they've all uh, uh, both those guys have definitely you know, they have the repetition. They know uh, you know know what to do. And I mean in the way they've been you know working you know just even in some of the things we have wise. Uh, it's not like they're sitting back and just waiting. It's, uh, everything's pushing to get better, uh, even even just the finer details and the mental aspect of it, communication. Uh, and they're taking a lot of ownership when it comes to that.
when you try to evaluate quarterbacks, it's always you know, kind of tricky to try to balance out the talent around them. But it seems like there really is no drop off. I know you do mix things up, but it seems like there's really no drop off between who Brock and DJ are worth it. How does that help you evaluate? Oh, uh, no, it's, I mean, the depth that we have is something I'm excited about, and, and you know, it really does allow. Uh, Allows those guys to, to showcase you know who they are and uh, you know and sometimes you want them to see them in, in, with different person because there's different strengths and weaknesses of, of, uh, of each group and so uh, you see those guys go and be able to work and uh, you know just really operate with the personnel around them is, is important to them. you know I think they're doing a good job. Coach, you mentioned the drops in last practice. How do you think the receivers are responding to that? I thought it was a better day. I mean, I, you know, it was, you know, it wasn't just you know, there, we still had a couple, but it was uh, you know. Uh, it wasn't just the receivers in, in the last practice. It was tight ends and running back. It was all, everybody involved. It was, was uh, somebody that uh, had missed opportunities. And so you just you challenge the guys. You know, it's a focus. It's the details. Uh, make sure we're finishing plays um, when we get the opportunities. Because obviously you can see that we got we got a talented group. We got good depth. We got a lot of competition. So you never seize the moment when you get it. Only four practices, but have you seen Missouri taking another step? Yeah, I mean, it was, and it was ex an expected step. I mean, I'm not saying he's done anything that shocked me. I mean, because you know, I think I think he really highly of him and, uh, and what his ceiling and potential is. And, you know, I really like you know, the because he's played so much football. I played you know a lot of snaps as a true freshman last year as a sophomore year. You know, was very active in, in what we do or what we did. Um, you know, you hit him, Fitzgerald, and those guys are. Um, season and I mean I and I think both of them have done you know a lot of good things here in the first four days of practice but uh, you know I think the sky's the limit for him and he's continuing to push all, all that I know he can be. And how good does it help all the quarterbacks not just Missouri it's a different type of receiver for us obviously Johnny and Keel are tough to cover in the old day but you've got dudes that can they're not ready to run right by them like how does that help them prepare? Oh I mean it's every every step every movement because you take a bad step you can it's going to look it's going to look bad quickly, and so uh, you know, I think it's the, that much more emphasis on the fundamentals, uh, trusting your technique. And, I mean, you know, obviously we got big long corners that uh, it also pro provides the challenge for the for the receivers. So I really like you know, the work that we're that we're getting, and uh, you know, it's not just out of the backfield, you know, or, or not just at receivers, but also out of the backfield. You know, got some guys that can really run uh, there too. So just all leverage angles. Uh, I think it's, it's something that. It will also help us when it comes to you know, our defensive tackling. When you face that type of speed, you know it's uh, you know, it, it definitely forces you know, all, uh, all all angles to be spot on. As a play caller, is it tweaking you having that kind of speed? Sorry, is it yeah. tweaking? Sorry, it seems like people are just used to. Right, sure. Do, do you tweak how even you call plays? Do you have that different? You, you have a speed element that maybe you didn't have. Like well, I mean, it's every year is going to be unique to the group that you have, and uh, you know it's uh, you know, been part of offenses with a lot of speed, and uh, you know, those are usually you know, fun offenses to be a part of because you know it's just you know, when you create space, you create a great opportunity. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, you get the ball to playmakers in space, and they can score from anywhere. It's, it's a little better. <laughs> So many new things and so many competitions. Is it change at all? Does it make sure, in terms of how you go on those trying to make sure you get all those guys in the Yeah, no, I mean, we're, we're, and we'll have to, I mean, there'll be some guys that will be on you know, public account of you know, what we need to see I and mean, what it's going to be, but I don't know. We will also, you know, there'll be some, some necessary, you know, Account. So we have to get this guy this many reps, and uh, just so we can see all the looks. Uh, you know, we do have a lot of newcomers, and uh, you know, a lot of those guys are freshmen that are coming in, and this is going to be their first real action of uh, you know, being at Doe Campbell, and you know, just we'll see how they react. We go live Last every time. What's that? We go live every time. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll have some competitive drills. Uh, you know, did more of the live work uh, in the bowl camp more than we do in Spike. All right, thank you.